person pray to nobody else. So today's lesson we're gonna talk about the day of the judgment. We're gonna go deep into the Holy and Simple Stone Book. The Bible is simple as called. experience in the days, the last days, when the day of the Creator sends is only on the day of the destruction of the judgment of the Creator. All of the children of men from the east unto the west shall be gathered before the Creator, whoever lives, and he will command help to open it. Bear of still, and to give up all that is in it, and the breast, and the fowls, so he command to give back all flesh that they have devoured. Since he denies that men shall appear again, for nothing perishes for the Creator, and nothing is impossible. What which he sets all things. His for all things come to pass on the day of destruction, on the day of judgment, at the word of the Creator, who is speaking into existence, speaking into existence, and as all things come to pass when He created the world and commanded all that is therein, and it was all done. So shall it be in the last days, for everything is possible with the Creator. And He says in the Spirit of the Scriptures, sons of men, prophecy upon, prophesy upon the several bones, and say to the bones, bones unto bones. flesh and skin and hair thereon and soul and spirit shall the great ultra give for the creator at the command of the creator for him the creator has appointed over the restrictions of the dead on the day of judgment, behold, the consider and consider the coins which what which are shown in the earth as something dry and without a soul does a man sow then and the earth and they live again bear fruit. And the earth give, sorry, and the earth gives them back again as a plague. Mm -hmm. And, and, and taught it to it. So let's see what this word means. So therefore, as I explained before, credit can be either to two, two things. So let some folks survive, gather them into a land, destroy everything else, and make everything brand new. Uh, keep who they has and have them conserved. Or he can destroy everything altogether, which he has done before, and remake everything all over again, which is when he destroys the whole universe.
universe, the whole planets and everything does all that together. That depends on how messed up this system is, honestly. Okay, we're gonna get this word. My wife is over there. See this bleeding. Okay. Wife, are you up? <laughs> Encrusted. So that's the encrusted. So encrusted is the word we're going to look up. Well, what does encrusted mean? Something or with something just decor to all our belongings were accustomed with. Okay. So, again, as a play requested, therefore, basically, he makes the earth and he makes it all those that it seems are dead. funny because there's giants that are turned into stone, they're part of mountains, there's also dragons, part of mountains and many other things that we see, if you look up uh, fossil fuel, um, that guy, he's pretty good, he's actually discovering that there's blood inside a lot of these rocks and stones, these rocks, a lot of these rocks and stones are actually body parts, this is funny that he actually, I mean I have a lot but now he's cutting these rocks open you can see the blood it's solid hard blood and the stone and he has a further to prove that there's the jealous giants on earth who were turned into stone and not just giants people okay and the th same thing will happen again um, I know I did a video a while back saying uh, the earth is a caucus the earth is literally a bunch of dead body parts turned into stone and dust. I don't know how he does it. Um, besides the fondom stone being thrown down, which seems to have a, a hot, cold sensation that seems to heat up, but almost like an oven, make everything hard. Okay, so let's keep going. Alright, so to it, and it, I'm sorry, and this, which dies, there you go, which is sown as seed and the earth and shall become alive and be restored to life is man so we'll be we come back the creator doesn't let us go doesn't let us die because we have to go back to him and therefore he sends us back in a brand new body however we believe these bodies are going to be way better than the ones we have now there will be no evil guys on the earth, no fallen ones to up and cause more problems. The experiment is over. This is the last time they get to interfere in family business and cause all these problems they have. And I believe that by the end of this, uh, man and mankind and those ugly ass demons will have learned a very valuable lesson. They're going to learn that they are not King Tut, they are not the top. They are not the creator. They are not the top of the food chain. That they must stay in their lane where they will keep getting the same punishment. This has happened too many times. They have not learned. But it's going to be the time where they're actually going to finally learn. Okay? They're still going to get screwed, but they're going to learn. All the 
evil people on earth who has refused to be good time and time again, lifetime and lifetime again. As many people come back and do the same thing over again, they will learn a valuable lesson that they have to do what the creator say, or they have to stay in a place or be in a predicament called hell. And they're going to learn that lesson the hard way. Now, man who serves the creator only will come back. We have had learned a Bible lesson by this time. The Bible lesson that we have learned already. Serve the Creator only. That there's no way to get eternal life or to keep coming back over and over again unless you believe in the Creator only. Period. There's no way. So all these times that people were trying to do that, go, go through chicken and rice as the way I like to say, or Mr. J, like I like to say, um, it's not working. It doesn't work. This is a lesson that we have learned. All the rest of the ones who even go to hell will be in a hellish predicament, such as slavery. If that's going to happen, we'll have learned this lesson, and they will experience the pain behind this lesson. Okay? And then we'll get thrown into hell. At least that's what the scriptures say. Okay, how much more shall the Creator rise up on the day of destruction? These who be lit, live in Him and are chosen by Him and from whom He made the earth. So, the chosen are the ones that was in the book from the very beginning, are the ones who has came back around this same time. A lot of them are teachers, there's not many. Um, serving the creator and that's how you will know um, there's many women who are serving the creator only too you have to think that they would rise again right they couldn't just die off so and of course the creator has picking these 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 human or I should say man these men because when these men these man and woman so these men these stood spirits from the very beginning Okay, and they, the earth was made for them. They were chosen from the beginning. Their name was written in the book of life from the beginning. That's why I'll hear me say many times, many people are just here for fuel for the fire. Many people are here just for the play, to play out for the movie script. And then they are eradicated, done away with, because there's no use in it anymore. Once the script is played out, by the time the script is fully played out, trust me, everybody will have learned a Bible lesson. You have locusts and all these other strange things coming to the earth. Then a lot of folks is going to learn a lesson because they're going to be scared, which only makes sense. And they will never do that again. So the chosen will rise again. If you do not take the FRID chip or the you know what, you have will rise again, son of the creator. If you get to the wilderness and you did not take the FRID chip or the you know what, there's your phone. Make a noise. They were chosen, and from whom he made the earth, he made earth for us from the very beginning. And all these shall the earth give back on the day of destruction. Okay, since it shall also be judged, the earth is also going to be judged with them, and the heaven with it. So, the heavens, the earth, the people. Anything on it, anything inside it, anything that also causes any problems, such as all these demons and what you want to call them, draconians, are going to pay. Everybody has to pay the piper. Forgiveness does not mean unpunished. So you have to be punished for your sins, okay? It's one thing to be punished for your sins and either survive something or have to die a natural death because you'll come back. 
consider that type of punishment a decent one. Because if you get punished when you die the second death, when you are no longer allowed in this room, when you have to go to the same place where the Dracos are going to go, and all these other demons are going to go, I believe you will not want to be there. Because that is going to be a bad place to be. Okay, so you want to do what the Creator said. And these things shall come to pass. Because even the earth will be judged. And the days of judgment of those who have fallen away from the faith of the Creator. It didn't say Mr. J. It didn't say YHWH. It didn't say, it didn't say WH, whatever the hell you want to call it. It didn't say all these little religions y'all do. It said the Creator, the faith of the Creator. Nobody else. Okay, nobody died on the cross for you. Nobody dies for your sins. You can only be free by the faith of the Creator. So if you believe what the Creator says, you do what He wants you to do. You follow the laws, statutes, and commandments. All the real ones. You got to be careful and do research on all that. Okay? You will try to get to the wilderness, even if you can't. Uh, you will be married. Um, you will not mess up your marriage because you will honor all the laws. Okay? You will take the Creator serious in all His judgments because you know He means business. But, if you believe in Mr. J and all these other names, then you're going to do whatever you want. You're going to justify your sin. You're never going to stop sinning. And then you're going to, you may be a decent person, yes, but you're going to hell with the devil because the devil has to go to hell for propagating this Mr. J story up yeah, because the devil is a uh, draconian, lizard, reptilian, shapeshifter, Lizzie race. Nothing more than a new age demon that y'all call an illness. The same demon of old who is evil. The same demon that was in the gardens who shapeshifted to look like a man. He had begall Eve. Begall means to what? Seduce. So of course in the book of uh, Naga and I regret, you will hear the story that she did put a spell on them. She fought. She did not want to get raped. And when they came back, they used what? Witchcraft, spells, trickery. They put Naga to sleep. They tricked him too. They did brain surgery on him. They took his disc out of his brain so that he could not remember his past lives. How else could he be deceived and think that she came from his rib? When the creator said, I make man and woman. So that means he made them what? around the same time. It was already pre-planned, okay? And uh, further back, in the last lesson I have had to you, the Creator has used reason when he made everything. So he thought everything through. Why would he make a man, right, and not make the woman with him? Why would he make the man and not have the woman already in process of being made? Now, I'm not saying made, man didn't do something that wasn't right. Maybe the Creator could see ahead of time that if he didn't make woman around the same time that he made man men would be probably touching on themselves or else you could think a man would do when he gets bored out of his mind there's nothing else to do okay there were animals on earth we hate to think that man would do anything like that but man even back then had needs okay um, hopefully he didn't touch an animal or wouldn't have not thought about it. Um, but I'm pretty sure he probably would have touched himself. So the creator had it going around the same time he made man. So you see there's a lot of trickery in certain books that's not giving you the full story. Which it should do, though, but okay, again, 1995, you're not going to get the whole story for 1995. You have to purchase many books. You have to ask the creator to give you information, download information to your brain, that's what he does, alright, um, some people said call, call that him talking to you, in a sense, yeah, that is true, alright, um, he does it in many ways, I never heard a voice though, if I ever do, then I'll just think I'm crazy, and so I don't, I will tell you, in my experience, the creator has not used a voice, he is, he is, uh, uh how you say it, um, that it was already speaking like straight to my to my mind. She's knocked out. Okay. Here we go. 
far away from the faith of the Creator and and His come, come, and His oh and have committed sin committed sin contracts when you sin you are dealing with contracts of fire shall be let loose and obscurity and darkness shall come up and cover the veil the entire world and the waters shall be changed and transformed into coals of fire and all that is in it shall burn and the sea shall become fire under the heaven. There shall be a forced fire that shall not be put out, and it flows far the judgment of wrath, and the stars shall be melted by flames of fire as if they had not been created. And the fitness of the heavens shall pass away for what of water and become as though they had not been created. And the lightnings of heaven shall be no more. And by their enchantment there shall along the world and the spirit of the dead bodies shall be like to them and of the command of the creator will become fire and as soon as the whole creation is dissolved destroyed the men who are the, in the east shall flee to the west and those in the east to the east those to are that are in the south shall flee to the north and those in the north to the south and wherever will the wrath of the fearful fire take over them and an earthquake and on and okay and okay and and unquenchable flame shall drive them and bring them to the judgment of the wrath and the stream of the unquenchable fire which flows flaming with fire and with it waves separate one from another or separate you from another you'll be total total chaos another see, see then there shall be much gashing of teeth among the children of men and all will see how I come upon an eternal shelling could and the angels of the Creator who will sit with me on who will sit with him but not on his throne they tried to add that in there not on his throne not beside him none of that if anything they're sitting way below looking up and the angels also they're falling so they're going to hell so we can get rid of that one okay bottom line it is very clear that if you want to serve the devil if you want to go with Mr. J that the Dracos made up which is a big fat lie they admitted to I read this story yesterday <clears throat> in a lesson then you my dear friend maybe not be my, might not even be my friend because you will be going to hell if you don't want to do what the Creator says. The only gospel 
The only way of salvation is doing what the creators say. The gospel is the creators and the creators alone. It is not for Mr. J. It is not for Mr. Ethelbet or religion. If you do not serve the creator, you are going to hell. And if you're left on this earth, especially in a lot of locations, what the book says, you will burn. Even if the fire has to run you down, you will burn. All praise and crater for nobody else. Peace and love. I hope that y'all gonna follow the crater only and nobody else. It is clear that if you follow anything else, you are not getting to the kingdom.